Hey, welcome to Being Classy. My name's Peter. In this video, I want to show you how to do a first line indent, a hanging indent, a left indent, and a right indent in Microsoft Word. Let's jump in. You can see here on this screen, I have four different paragraphs. I'm just going to go through each one and show you how to do the indentation style mentioned. So this top paragraph, we're going to do a first line indent. There's two main ways in Microsoft Word that you can change your indents. I like to use the ruler, which is shown up here at top. If you're looking at your Microsoft Word screen and you don't see your ruler, you just click view at the top and click ruler. So mine's checked. If I uncheck it, the ruler goes away. You can still change your indents without the ruler, but I do prefer to use it. So we'll open up the ruler and I will show you both ways to change the indents. So if you just want to change the indents on a specific part of a text like I do here, I'm going to highlight this paragraph for first line indent. I'm going to go up to my ruler. You can see there's these two arrows on the top left pointing at each other. I want to click on just the top arrow and drag it over. This is a first line indent. Notice down here on my highlighted text, just the first line indented half an inch. That's a standard indentation for most formatting styles, but you can do whatever first line indent you want. Again, just by using the top arrow found on this ruler. The other way you can change this to a first line indent in Microsoft Word is to go up to the top and click Format, Paragraph. Then you'll see this section in the middle of this window that says Indentation. On Special, right now it's set to None, I can go First Line. It automatically generates half, which I said is the most basic first line indent used in most formatting styles. And you can click OK. And again, you can see the text, the first line has an indent here. And you can see it even moved the arrow that we used up there. So we'll leave that set to first line indent and we'll move down here to a hanging indent. Hanging indent is needed for some reference styles in different formatting. So in Microsoft Word, in order to do a hanging indent, you can use the ruler by instead of clicking the top arrow, which controls the first line, you can click down here and try to just grab the bottom arrow. If you click right at the top, right at the middle where the arrows meet, you'll be able to just grab the bottom and you can move it over half. And you can drag over, you can see the first line stayed the same and all the following parts indented half an inch. So this is a hanging indent set to half an inch. Again, if you didn't have a ruler, you wanted to do it a different way. You could go to the top to format, down to paragraph. You can go to special indentation in the middle of this window that pops up and you can select hanging. And again, half is what shows up as the default. And there we go, you can see the arrow in the ruler window and you can see the text is now a hanging indent. So now we have the first paragraph as a first line indent. This is a hanging indent. Those are the most common indents that you will need for formatting style. Microsoft Word also allows for two other types of indents, so I'll show you those quickly. To do a full left indent, which again doesn't change the margins of your paper, which are set in this gray area seen in the ruler, it just changes the indentation of a portion of your work. You can click farther down, you can click the bottom of these, and now you're going to see both arrows are going to move together. And I can move that half an inch, and you can see down here the part that's highlighted, all of the work is indented half an inch. So it's not a first line or a hanging, this is a full left indent. If you go down further, you can highlight for the right indent. And there's one arrow over here on the top right side on the ruler. And you can drag that one over and that can change the right indent. Again, if you wanted to change the left or right indent without using the ruler, same, you can go to format, paragraph. And under indentation, there's where you can enter the size of a left or right indentation. And here you have, here's a first line indent, hanging indent, a left indent, and a right indent. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please press that like button, share it with anybody else who could benefit from it, and please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our new content. We'll see you in the next video.